Hi, and welcome to Depot TV. Thanks, everybody, for being here. I like that I got a wave from camera guy at the back. That's awesome. You know. Uh, thanks for coming. Thanks for being here at the Depot. Uh, Depot TV was a lovely idea that started three weeks after the pandemic hit. So the pandemic hit, everything shut down, and we realized with horror that all of our artists and poets and musicians had lost all contact with their audiences. Um, and that made us really sad. So very quickly, that brilliant man back there, Mark McClellan, uh, found some online platforms that we could use that were basically like a virtual TV studio where we could have guests on and um, connect musicians, artists, poets with their audiences. So three nights a week, we streamed Depot TV for about a year, uh, cut it down to two toward the end, and then even when things started coming back in person, we just couldn't let it go. So Chase came on board, and we started filming it as individual segments that we would put together as uh, an hour weekly special about art and music and poetry and things. Um, and now here we are kind of filming them live. And it's a little bittersweet because tonight is actually our last one for a little while. We're gonna take a pause, um, not because anything is wrong, but kind of because everything is right. We've launched comedy nights on third Thursdays here at the Depot, and it was absolutely packed last time. You're gonna have to get your tickets early if you wanna be a part of the next one. Uh, we've got poetry coming back. Our concerts are coming back. So we are busy with all of these individual art forms getting to have a life of their own right now, which is awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're ending Depot TV, and, and like most of our Depot TVs that we've done in this format, they kind of have a little bit of a theme to them. We've talked about a lot of different things, and tonight we kind of wanted to talk about um, creative expression and all of its fabulous forms. And, community and inclusion in a community because it's pride, y'all. Happy pride. Woo! Woo -woo! I love that. Yes, happy pride. Um, and it takes a lot when you grow up in a place like Oklahoma to find your space and to find your people. I don't want to criticize. I am a sixth generation Oklahoman. My folks have been here like for a long time. Um, so but I grew up here. Um, I grew up here and I grew up in a very small, very fundamentalist Baptist church, like a lot of us. And it didn't fit me. And I was trying to find myself in the way that I wanted to be, in the way that I wanted to express myself in the world. And that just, it just didn't do it. You know, and there are lots of ways to express yourself and lots of things you can discover, like the fabulous drag queens we're gonna have tonight. You know, I was, I was gonna do drag tonight. Um, but then I thought, it's not me. It's not me. And there's something about expressing yourself that's also about authenticity and making sure that you're bringing you to the table. So this is me. My ridiculous chunky jewelry, my silly glasses. This is me, just me. Uh, thanks. I like it too. It's very silly. Um, but as a kid growing up here in Norman, I went to the University of Oklahoma because uh, I grew up here. That was the easy thing to do. And then I was graduating with, I started out as a vocal performance major, uh, singing. And then it didn't work out, um, needed more money all of the things that happen when you're in college. And I wanted that degree. Nobody in my family had ever got one. So I thought I'm gonna go do this thing. And I ended up with a degree in theoretical mathematics, as you do, isn't that where we all go from voice to <laughs> theoretical mathematics? So I finished that degree and I was studying for my first actuarial exam. And I got a glimpse of myself 30 years in the future, in a cubicle, calculating what insurance rate to charge a 42-year-old mother in Tucson who drove a Volvo and the chances that she would get in a wreck on a Tuesday. 
Uh, and that's what actuaries do. And I think there are a lot of people I know that really love that kind of work, but I'm looking down at that and I knew this is not me. Um, and I had a boyfriend who got a job in Taiwan, so I threw all I could shove in a backpack and bought a plane ticket and moved halfway around the world because that was as far as I could get from Norman without leaving terra firma and planet Earth. Uh, and found a way to be me that was just me. Uh, found friends, found people, I traveled, I learned a lot about the world. Uh, and now I'm back here. And Norman can be a place where you can find your people and find yourself. And we love that about our town. It is not always true, but it is often true. And it is increasingly true. And we love that very much about our town. Um, it can be inclusive. And there's a funny word. I was listening to a podcast recently. Someone was talking about wanting to change DEI work to DEB work and change the word inclusive for belonging. And I thought about that for a while, and you know, we're all very used to the term DEI, but I liked the idea of belonging instead of inclusion because, um, I mean, you can invite everybody to the party. It doesn't mean they're gonna feel nice there or have a good time. But belonging, you belong here. Uh, is a really nice thought. Um, so I like that a lot, and we'll talk a little bit about that tonight. Uh, we'll have space for people trying to find out how to express their authentic selves in the world in all ways, through song, with wonderful art, through drag, uh, because there's got to be a space for... I mean, you can do all of the things you're supposed to do, all of the things you're told are the right thing to do. You can grow up and toe the line, and it might get you somewhere, but that somewhere might just be a better place in line. Um, and in order to be your authentic self, there's just got to be a space for people who don't want to wait in line. People who wander, people who react to things, people who express themselves in some kind of way. And we hope, um, in some small way, the depot can be that place for whoever wants to paint or use words or sing a song or put on a show of any kind. If any of you have ideas for shows, this is a great room for it. Let us know. We'd love to have them. Um, so that's it. We'll talk a little about inclusion and community, belonging. Um, but for right now, thank you for being here. You all belong here. Thanks. All right. Um, so we're changing up our order in the evening just a little bit. Surprise for you, Craig. I know you just came in from outside, but uh, you cannot rush good drag. And they need a few more minutes. So they get a few more minutes. That's just how that goes. Uh, and so we were going to have Craig on in a little bit, but now we're going to have a chat with artist Craig Swan, who, if I am not mistaken, you got your BFA at Boston, 2007, am I right about that? MFA, just finishing up here at the University of Oklahoma, right? Uh, just had a terrific installation as part of the MFA show at Main Site Gallery, uh, home of the Norman Arts Council, and is here tonight to share some of his art with us. So give us just a second, we're gonna get set up over here.